Hey guys, wanted to go over some uh, Microsoft Word formatting tasks that you can find in the Home tab. Now remember, whenever we're working through Microsoft Word, we're going to be looking at these top uh, tabs on what we call the ribbon. Um, so for this, for this assignment, you have one part here in the Home tab, one in the Insert, one in the Page Layout, um, and one in the Review. So again, today we're working in the uh, in the home tab here. Um, hopefully, you find these tasks as kind of a review. Remember, if you are confused, lost, anything like that, just go ahead and pause this video, rewind it, and listen again. So, um, the first one here says indent this line. The way you indent is by hitting the tab button. The tab button is on your keyboard. All right, and it's right above uh, caps lock. So go ahead and just tap that really quickly, and you can see it'll bump you right over, just like that. Uh, very simple. Don't hit spacebar a bunch of times. That'll just be kind of confusing. Next one says, make this font bolded. All right, font is just the uh, the letters on the screen, okay? And there are several ways that we can make it bold, which means to make it um, kind of bigger than the rest of the font. Um, the first one is, when we highlight it, this quick little formatting box pops up. And that's one way to do it. We just we would click on the B. Um, if that goes away like it did there, I can always find the bold button right here. Notice whenever I hover over any of these buttons on the top of the screen, it'll tell me exactly what they are. So if I hover over bold, it'll tell me what it is. If I hover over this A right here, it says text effects and typography. Okay. Um, so if you ever forget what something is, just hover over it for a little while and it'll tell you. But anyway, again, we're going to make this one bold. So we're going to click on the B. Um, you can see once we do that here, it'll make it uh, bolded. A shortcut to that is by pressing Control and B at the same time. If you just tap that, um, you can turn bold on and off. All right, next one is italicize. Make this font italicize. Same area here right next to the B. This time we're going to click the I. The slanty I, that's for italic. All right, that's going to make our letters slanty. Again, a shortcut for that one is Control and I at the same time. Moving right along, make this font underlined. Okay, same area. I'm going to hover over this U. It tells me exactly what it is. You can see that it also lists the shortcut, Control, and U at the same time. Control and U. I just tap it and it toggles the underline feature on and off. Next line says Times New Roman. Make this font Times New Roman size 12. Okay, right here is your font box. This tells you the font is just the way the text on the page looks. Um, so right now we're in Calibri body. We want to find Times New Roman. Um, you can see mine's here in my recently used fonts. Yours probably won't be. So all you got to do is type into this box while this text is selected. Times New Roman. Hit enter and it'll pop it up for you. Next one, it also says it wants to be size 12. Right next to the font style box is the font size box. You can select 12 here. You can also type it in, okay, hit enter, and it'll go there for you. Next line says, make this font your favorite color. All right, again, we can choose your font color right here in this box that pops up, or it's always up here. If you notice, this is the font box where my mouse is. This is has everything to do with how your text looks. I can change the color by clicking here. I can select any color that I'd like, um, kind of the standard ones or a whole variety of different colors here. I'm going to go with a nice, uh, nice blue font there. Now, notice whenever I want to change something in the text, I just click and drag to select it. Um, I can also double click on a line to select it, or if I want to select uh, a whole paragraph worth of text as I can do up here, I just triple click. Now, if I want to select 
just this first part of the sentence. I'm going to click and drag right at the period. And I'm going to change, change this to orange. Okay. This one, again, I'm going to select this, change it to purple. Go up here this time. And then it wants me to highlight. I can highlight this feature two different ways. First way is I can select it by clicking and dragging the whole sentence. Clicking on yellow or really any of the highlighting colors here. The other way is I can just click on click on yellow and then I can click and drag just like a regular highlighter would. Now notice I got that line above it as well. I'm going to tap control and Z at the same time to undo that action. Very important trick there, control and Z. Hopefully you remember that one from class. So again, highlighting can make this sentence highlighted. All right. Now this next line says make this font centered. All right, we're moving out of our font paragraph here into, or sorry, out of our font box here into the paragraph box. Notice again where my mouse is, it labels what the box is called. So for this one, it says make this font centered. Now, what I don't want to see is you hit in the space bar a bunch of times to make, make it go to the middle of the page. This button right here is designed to center our content. So I click on that, it takes me right to the center. You can see here it, it reads center your content on your page. Center alignment gives documents a more formal appearance and is often used in cover pages, quotes, and sometimes headings. All right, very useful tool. Make sure you remember where this one is. Again, if you forget, you can just hover over it and it'll tell you exactly what it is. This one is right aligned. All right, this is what we call center alignment. Now we want a right alignment. Notice that I have my mouse at the beginning of the sentence right next to the M. I don't need to select anything, but I do need my mouse at the beginning. Otherwise, it might not work correctly. Uh, so I'm going to come up here. Align right, this box, um, align your content with the right margin. Just like that, there you go. All right, next one here. Ask me to make a numbered list of my favorite TV shows, computer games, or movies. All right, I don't care what you choose. I don't care if you make up movies. I just want you to see, uh, I just want to see a numbered list. Now, the first thing that I need to do is hit enter to give myself a new line to work with. All right, now once I have this new line from hitting enter, I'm gonna go back up here to this paragraph box and I'm gonna look for the really tiny one, two, three up there. I'm gonna click on that and it's automatically gonna pop up a number one for me. So I'm gonna put, uh, I could make a list of my favorite TV shows and I'm not gonna give you mine, I'll just give you some generic examples here. TV shows, that would be my first TV show. Um, I could make one of my favorite computer game here. Notice, sorry, I almost skipped over that step. As I'm at number one, all I have to do to get to number two is hit enter. So it goes there to number two by hitting enter. Type in computer games. Hit enter again for number three. And I can type in a favorite movie. I can keep going and just hitting enter and Word is automatically going to make that numbered list for me. Last thing here says make this document double spaced. All right, this is the line and paragraph spacing right up here. It says choose how much line, how much space appears between lines of text or between paragraphs. This does not mean that I want two spaces in between each word here. That is not double spacing, um, although it might sound like it. When we're talking about double spacing, we're talking about the space in between lines of text. So in order to make the whole document double spaced, I'm going to select everything. Come up here again to the line and paragraph spacing button. Now I'm going to go to 2.0. So 2.0 means double. All right, click that and you're good to go. It should look exactly like this. Great job on the home tab. Once you're done with this, once you feel comfortable with all these tasks, go ahead and move on to our next video, which is tasks found in the page layout tab.